Just like Michelangelo into the blue on heavenly wings. Cargo hand bones don't take off no smoke, no mirror, no strength. I can't take off these dark shades. I can only say how it's too beautiful. Our town, our town on TV, our town. You and me Upside down Hanging out of an airplane
Welcome to the segment of Our Town. We're down to Plugs Pond in Haverhill at the Native American Festival or Powell. I'm here with my good friend Gene Whedon who's going to kind of give a description of what's going on today and a little bit about his heritage. Gene, nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Larry. Doggone, I'm glad you could make it today. Finally you know, got I've, you on camera. No, uh, right, right well, back you at you. Hard how you are, so. <laughs> Yeah, what goes right back, so it's going to be a very loose interview. So, Gene, what's going on today? Well, as you can see, uh, we're having a powwow here at uh, Lake, Lake Salt and Stall, uh, off, also known as Plugs Pond. And uh, it's been going on now for 20-some years, to my knowledge. And it's essentially a gathering of, of a tribes, intertribal affair, that meaning many tribes can attend. And, uh, you know, it's a festive event. Uh, there's going to be dancing, and there's, as you can see about, there's uh, the various vendors that sell just about anything and everything uh, that Walmart sells, but <laughs> at a competitive price. Like the, We have food vendors making excellent, uh, excellent things, Indian tacos and uh, burgers, chili, uh, you know, the, the usual fare you have at uh, fair, fairs and, and things yeah. like that. So it's, all, it's a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of children here, as there usually is. And it's a little bit light today, though, right? Uh, it's begin so yeah, so far, you know, they're slow in coming in today. Is there a football game scheduled? I don't think so. Probably someplace. Yeah. Yes. I, that, <laughs> uh, uh, that's it's probably five o'clock someplace. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'd like to go over, though, is uh, this, it starts in about 11 o'clock. And there's some, um, it, Gene explained it to me like a uh, religious ceremony. So we're not going to film the, the entrance and stuff. But Gene's just going to go over the events that we would, that we're not allowed to film. Uh, essentially, it's what is known as the grand, the grand ceremony or the grand entry, and essentially, it's a very uh, spiritual event. Uh, uh, the veterans will walk in the flag, and the uh, MIA flags missing in actions, and and will say uh, prayers uh, to to in respect the, to them, the ancestors and, stuff and like ancestors that. and so yeah. forth, and uh, it's that type of uh, uh, thing. Um, of course, once that's done with, uh, it's a free camera after that, yeah. and uh, you're, you're, you're free to uh, film as you like. Uh, and generally, uh, decorum dictates that uh, if, if there's an individual you find interesting and you want to shoot a picture, of course, you got to say, excuse me, may I yep. have permission to shoot? You know, and that's just basically it. But uh, it's a very uh, casual, informal but the, the spiritual part is intriguing to me. And in yes, yes, of, of course. So if, if you can just elaborate a little bit more on yes, that. Yes, I will. Uh, in a spiritual sense, uh, because it's a gathering of, of uh, natives primarily, and it's it's similar to sharing fellowship in a, in a church, mm -hmm. very similar, uh, without splitting hairs, uh, uh, Christianity versus uh, our particular uh, way of worship. There's not a lot of difference, really. You know, we all believe in one one creator. And uh, basically, that's it. And the you value know, of life and the value of animals. And oh animals yes, and that type of thing. Uh, so we, we value, uh, as I once said, uh, from all that crawls to all that flies, and right. all earth and living matter in between. It's very sacred. Yeah. Uh, that's why we want to honor it, and not film it. Pretty much so. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So I want to honor your views and stuff. Now this is interesting for me because if you go way back to the 16, 1700s, this whole area, the Pawtucket, I think Pawtucket tribe then, I'm not sure the names, but that was all the way up to Merrimack and stuff. They just kind of lived this way and went all the way up to Nashua and all that stuff. Oh so yes, oh I don't yes. know the tribe's name, but I just know that was many. 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 <laughs> many. many was the name. <laughs> that's a, that's how all I can say. <laughs> But it's kind of nice here because we're in the same setting. That's what I'm saying. So I, can, I, I hope to bring you back to the setting also with a, the with a background and the nature. And uh, they're getting ready to go to start the program now. So we're going to kind of sign off. Well, we might be back later if we can. Okay? Gene, thank you very, very much a for pleasure, coming Larry. on, Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.
Hi, we're here with uh, Carrie at Plugs Pond, and it's a festival or powwow. Powwow, uh, yes. In Haverhill, and this is Carrie, and she's going to explain the work she does and uh, actually why she comes to these. Hello, my name is Carrie Helm, and I am a member of the Mashpee Wampanoag Tribe. We're from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Um, I've been participating in these powwows for probably about seven or eight years. Um, I do all the powwows that she has throughout the year. Um, usually working with children, sometimes doing demonstrations, but usually letting the kids work um, with stuff themselves. So I'll do little pinch pots, little clay pots with them, like these. I also let them make corn husk dolls. Today I'm letting them do a little bit of painting with porcupine quills um, on wow, deer cool. skin. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, so they'll be able to make little bracelets that they can take home with them along with a little clay pot and a corn husk doll. Can I just ask how you got into this? Um, well, I actually worked for about 11 years at Plymouth Plantation. Wow. It's a living history museum in Plymouth, Massachusetts. I worked in a Wampanoag home site where I was collections manager and an artist and an interpreter there. So um, I learned a lot of these um, skills from other native women in my tribe, my aunties and cousins who had been, you know, learned from other family members you know, how to do, prepare skin, how to make traditional paint, how to gather and prepare clay for making pots and things like that. So um, I try to teach as many children as possible, you know, to carry on the traditions. Uh, we kind of talked to them during the ceremony, but it's such a wonderful feeling here with spirituality. Yes, it is. It's um, powwow, which um, is a phrase that's used by all Native people across the continent in modern day, is actually a word that comes from my language, which is um, the Algonquian language. And powwas is actually what we called our medicine people, so our healers. So it went from you know healers to a healing ceremony. Um, to what it is today, which is kind of like a homecoming and a, you know, a, a festival where we get to also, you know, not only, you know, participate in ceremony and dance and things like that, but we also have competition dancing and, you know, show, get to showcase some of our traditional foods and crafts and skills um, for outsiders to come see as well. So well, that's what I'm saying. I'm glad it's open for the outsiders so yes. I could get here. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, we like to share our um, culture and our history with people. Um, we don't want people to rely on, you know, everything they learn about us be from books or from non-native produced movies. You know, we want people to have an opportunity to come witness, you know, our lifestyle and our culture with their own eyes. You know, you should have more of these, actually. There's actually tons of powwows, to be honest with you, you know, from... You need to advertise better, right? Yes. <laughs> from April until, um, you know, this week, you know, every weekend I'm at a powwow. Oh, wow. So, yes, and I know that the Wandering Bull online, wanderingbull.com, has a great yeah. list of all the powwows in the local areas. Is there like a... Um online site for you personally for this stuff? Or? Um, on Facebook I do have a page um, called Don Land Designs. I didn't mean to say stuff. But yes, um, <laughs> yes. Don Land Designs is where you can find some of my stuff. I do commission work for museums and for sometimes private homes and things like that. Um, and you know anything people need made, you know I, I do that. I also do workshops and um, talks, uh, music programs. Me and my kids go into schools and teach kids. Oh, that's so wonderful. Yeah, we like it. We really enjoy it. So, but my you know my nine to five is I'm a cultural resource monitor for the Mashpee Wampanoag tribes. Is that in still in Mass or Rhode Island? Uh, it's Massachusetts. It's I monitor archaeological digs and construct. Oh. That is awesome. Yes, very interesting. <laughs> Can you give us a little things that you dug up or anything like that? Um, well, you know, I'm actually in school right now for okay. archaeology. Um, so I did my first field school in Plymouth, Massachusetts, and I, you know, dug up a real, some really cool old coins and um, perfectly preserved arrowheads from like the late archaic period. That is awesome. And, yeah, it's very exciting when you dig something up and you know no one's touched it for hundreds of years. So it's very exciting. To get just a little bit off, I went up to uh, Salem's uh, Mystery Hill thing there, one of my I grandkids, and we went through it and showed my grandkids it goes down, what, 3,000 years ago American or something Stonehenge. like that? Stonehenge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it was like, whoa, this is so cool. I love that place, and it's a very spiritual place for yes, us, it And um, but it's very um, discouraging going there because, um, you know, uh, they want to attribute it to everyone but Native people. You know, it must have been the Vikings, it must have been the uh, Irish, you know, everyone but us um, saying that we didn't do that kind of thing. But now being a cultural resource monitor and traveling, you know, the whole, the whole state, you know, through the woods, I realized there's thousands of stone structures built by, you know, my ancestors. And well, I was going to say, there's room to 
rewrite history. I didn't even want to say it that way, but you can add to the history and kind of open up the things that we don't know. So knowledge is the thing of the whole world. Yes, and uh, you know, with um, modern technology and social media and things like that, I think that history, you know, real history about things is spreading very quickly what nowadays. Doing, so Mom? thank you for the time. You're welcome. <laughs>
know what's going on here. Yeah. <laughs> just, the first thing is the spirituality I, I felt like. I know we couldn't film some of the earlier stuff, sure. which is okay, but I could still feel it. Yes. I, when I watched everybody do the dance or yeah. the meditation the prayer that um, uh, Harry gave, Harry, I think Harry it was. Hawk, Edmonds. Which, you know, to me, I'm in spirituality anyway, but yes. just to watch the people's faces and, and expressions and and then understand that there's still people trying to carry the culture on. Yes. That's the biggest thing, to carry the culture. This is, uh, it's one of the most important and fundamental things, uh, especially for uh, my family. Um, we try to instill the culture within our yep. kids. Uh, even for, uh, just recently, we, um, uh, they started a, a school that's an immersion school where they're learning culture and language wow. at the same time yep. they're learning curriculum. Um, so, and it, as you see here, I have my children here. Yep. Um, they dance, they drum, um, they understand the language, they're learning the language. Did you start out with dancing also? Uh, when I was a kid, I did a little bit of it. Um, for myself, I gravitated more to the drum and again, bringing that spiritual yep. uh, element. Um, the drum, I, I, I would say I gravitated towards the drum, but it was like the drum was pulling me yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. Um, it. It found you. It found me. Yeah. Uh, and the drum is something that it, it's really. Um, the cornerstone to our culture. It's the heartbeat of Mother Earth. It's the heartbeat of our people. Um, it, without the drum, we won't have dancers. Um, so it, it really is something that is uh, it's powerful for me to sit at the drum and to sing these songs. Um, and you, you had mentioned something about um, not being able to film earlier and, and still feeling that spirituality. Um, that's something that uh, is very important for us as yeah. well. Um, Filming That's why I didn't, it. I didn't want to intrude on, on your space. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. No, yeah. and it's something, again, that I, I express appreciation for. Um, a lot of folks don't understand that, but I think you have to experience it in order to understand it. Um, it's something that filming it kind of takes a, an ele that spirituality element mm -hmm. away from it. It's not the same viewing it on a screen as uh, it is to be able to physically see well, it. You have and to smell it, feel the wind. And, and really can converge yourself that, into it. So that, yeah. that part of yeah. it. And I mean, the dancing and everything else that you do see on film is obviously amazing. You can, you know, you, you feel it, but it's a different experience when you're here. Well, I'm, I'm, I do massage therapy and stuff, and I'm kind of a healer. So for me, I, I just feel people. Yeah. Um, you know, I just look around and uh, kind of you can feel the energy. That's why I, want. I hope that yes. the big guy upstairs lets me film a lot of different cultures. Sure. And, and just, you know, whether I go with that direction and whatever it is, I hope I'm in, in able to talk to a lot of holy people a lot yeah. of people just to get put it on film and for the future people that's that's my little gift it's, sure. not, it's not really important but, it's, <laughs> <laughs> but it really is it's a small I mean, thing but it's but yeah. those are fundamentals as humans that I you know over time we've gone away from we've right. lost uh, so again to bring it back and to have these children involved they're gonna grow up with this experience as my son's running over and yelling at me right now <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is it, it, it they're going to grow up, yep. and they're going to be able to pass it on to their children, and to their children, to yep. their, their children. Um, it's something that won't go away for us. And as a people, Harry Hawk Edmonds, you heard earlier this morning, we weren't allowed to speak our language. Right. It was forbidden for us yeah. to speak our language. And we've had this resurgence with that. That's a big part of culture is language. It, it, our creation stories, our words, um, they're descriptive versus just a you know a word. Uh, yeah. we, we have these... Um, uh, uh, for us, it's a basic of inanimate and animate objects, and there are rules that guide that language for us. Can you speak us. anything? I, I know I various words. You know like what's funny is... Um, I'm not trying to put you on No, no. I, I've, I've taken uh, uh, two and a half, almost three years of language classes. It's a very difficult yeah. language. And um, again, as an older person, well, I, I feel it's harder to learn. Names, <laughs> they, it's like, oh, this is not good. Yeah, I'm not trying so, to stop you, but I can't pronounce No, I know, I'll give you some words uh, <laughs> towards the end here. But, uh, but for the kids, it's easier. They pick it up. They yeah. learn... Um, uh, it's easier for them to grasp the language concepts uh, and it, it's important for them to learn at an early age. Um, I've taken the classes for a long time, my wife has taken the classes for a long time, she can speak but we're not fluent. I understand and I can speak words um, but there, I have a lot of limitations with it and it's going to take a lot to learn it. So, but the kids are doing phenomenal. Yeah. Well, Gene Whedon and I were Maybe a few years. I'm not sure how long we've been friends, but we were just talking today, saying, "Yeah, Gene, I, I think if I was born in the 1600s, 1700s, or 1800s, we would still be connecting this way peacefully sure. yeah. versus fighting." Well, and I, I think people forget that when it's their turn to come on the planet, we'll say, "You don't have to fight all the time." Yes, you know? I, and again, that uh, that's an element, uh, a basic humanity thing that we've lost yes. um, as as people, just as people. Um, there was a period of time where we lived harmoniously with the land and uh, we treated it as an equal. Yeah. We took, we gave back. Yeah. Um, now it's consumption, consumption, sure. consumption. Um, and we're losing out. We all hurt the awful lot right now. Yeah. We're in debt for quite a bit. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I, again, I mean, to be part of that, to 
continue those traditions. It's, uh, it's not only just a fundamental part of who we are, and especially, again, you know, me and my family, but uh, it's important for us to see it go further and con to continue. I agree. Yeah. Thank you, TJ. And I thank you for letting it. me come and film also. Katapata. Thank, thank you. What is that? Is that thank you? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> One more time slow. So I... Katapata. Okay. Katapata. Katapata. Katabatash. To one person. Katapatanamu. To you. Okay. That's a good one for them then. Ah, Thank you very much for coming on you. camera. I appreciate Bye -bye. it. Well, welcome back. I'm here with Gene Whedon again, and uh, he's getting ready to cut out. So what we're going to do is give a wrap up of uh, what he liked about the, the ceremonies today and uh, his opinion about the stuff that we can't see on camera. Uh, thank you, Larry. Uh, one of the things that I bring up right now that you that you didn't see uh, was the flag uh, opening ceremonies, which are, of course, uh, sacred. And uh, it went pretty smooth. Um, and now, of course, we're in the uh, intertribal dancing phase of the powwow. Uh, a very interesting uh, array of friends today that I've known for years here, and they're out, uh, a lot of them still dancing, and uh, a lot of children here today and a lot of vendors. It's uh, a very good time we're having right now. Even as we speak, uh, rain is falling upon us. <laughs> it's not a rain. You had the American flag. Yes, I, yes of course. Yeah. Uh, I had the honor today of carrying in the American flag. Uh, you know, that uh, in this day and age, that's it's really emotional uh, yeah. to do something like to be asked to do something like that. And I was very, very humbled, very humbled to do that. So. This is the first ceremony I've seen, so I mean, I almost had shivers up my, my arm. It's just one of the very emotional ones. Like oh, yes, uh, very understandable. Uh, it was that way uh, for me. Uh, the first powwow I, di pow -wow, excuse me, I did here uh, in 2008, it was so emotional. I had a difficult time uh, not tearing up, so yeah. I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um, gosh, Larry, uh, this is... Uh, Really, really great being able to talk to you about this, and uh, I wish I could expand on, on more uh, uh, topics. Well, we're friends off camera, too. I do recommend if you get a chance to go to a powwow any place around your area, uh, go see it. Uh, abide the rules, though. If they say don't film something, don't film something. But you can really feel inside and uh, get a better understanding of the Native American culture. So we're getting ready to go. One thing is raining, and Gene's got to get out of here. So uh, I'll say bye right here, then. Thank you for watching Our Town. Work hard, stay healthy, and please take time to care for someone, correct? This is true. Uh, I'll say goodbye in my native tongue. Hey, go ne. Hey, go ne. That's cool. Thank you, Gene. Thanks Thank for coming you, on camera. Have a great day. Happy birthday.